So I need to be confident going in and out of log format, uh, no matter what question they put in front of me. So they could put log of uh, 3x plus 1 in the base 2 is equal to 2. And I need to be able to take this out of log format. So when you go to your log tables, this is up in the top right hand corner, explain that if I want to come out of logs, then instead of y, um, that will be my answer. a is the base number, and this is my missing power, which in this situation is 2. So taking it out of log format, 2 is my base number. My missing power is 2, and that's equal to 3x plus 1. So that's 4 is equal to 3x plus 1. 3x is equal to 3, x is equal to 1. And I could check that out by subbing back in. Similarly, you know, I'll just give another example. If we had log of 5x plus 2 in the base 3 is equal to 3. Again, I could use my rule to carefully come out of log format. And when I do, I end up with 3 is the base number to the power of 3 is equal to 5x plus 2. And I just use my algebra to work that out. And I end up with x is equal to 5. So I need to be able to go in and out of log format, but that rule um, that helps me or the method that helps me going in and out of log format is in the top right hand corner of my log tables. All these other rules of logs we need to have a look at. So if I have the same base number and I have addition of logs, it can be written like this and vice versa. So if it looks like this, I could split out these in the same base and add the two logs. I need to be able to work both directions with those type of questions and with those rules. So that way um, the rules are as flexible for me as possible. So if we look at a question that will make us use uh, rule one and rule two, rule two, we'll just have a look at it again, same base number. And if I have subtraction of logs, I can write it in log in the same base and division of these, or I go the other direction, um, depending on the question that's put in front of me. So if we looked at log three in the base two plus log x plus one in the base two is equal to log x plus 11 in the base two. Now, so I go to my log tables, I see that I have addition of logs, which means that I can multiply these two. So I have log three times the x plus one in the base two is equal to log x plus 11 in the base two. And working that out, I end up with log 3x plus 3 in the base 2 is equal to log x plus 11 in the base 2. And I have two options from here, but I'm going to take the option that's going to make me use uh, rule 2 just to show it to you. Um, but I actually could just use um, quick method here rather than using rule 2, but I'm going to use it. So log 3x plus 3 in the base 2 minus, because I'm bringing it over, x plus 11 in the base 2 is equal to 0. And now I'm going to use rule 2. I have subtraction, so I'm going to do division here. So I have log of 3x plus 3 all over x plus 11 in the base 2 is equal to 0. Now I can just take it out of log format using the rule in the top right hand corner of my log tables and I end up with um, 2 to the power of 0 is equal to 3x plus 3 all over x plus 11. Anything to the power of 0 is 1 is equal to 3x plus 3 all over x plus 11. 
Okay, x plus 11 can go over and become multiplication. x plus 11 times 1 is just the x plus 11 is equal to 3x plus 3. And moving it around, I'd end up with 2x is equal to 8. So x is equal to 4. And I could sum it back in and check it out. That's using uh, rules 1 and 2. Um, a question that would force me into using rule 3, which we'll just have a quick look at, is if I have a number in front, I can bring it up and it becomes a power. Or vice versa, if I have a number here to a power, I can bring the power down in front. A question where I might need that would be to log x in the base 3 minus log 18 minus x in the base 3 is equal to 1. I cannot do anything with this yet because even though I do have subtraction of logs, which means I could do this, I'm not allowed to do it if I have a number in front. It has to look just like this for me to do it. So I'm going to use the rule that allows me to bring this up as a power, just here. And then I'll be able to use rule two. Now I can use my rule two where because I have subtraction, I'll write them as division. And now it's ready to take out of log format so that I can finish off the question. Rule four here. Well, I can use it or I might just be aware, you know, that it is true because if I took this out of log format, it should make sense that log um, of one in any base is zero. Now, why should that make sense? Well, if I take it out of log format, the base number is a, the power is zero, and any number to the power of zero is one. So that's why if I see this, I can just say it is equal to zero. Uh, the next rule also I could make sense of if I uh, try and have a look at it bit by bit. So if we had log of one all over x in the base a, it's supposed to be equal to, according to the rule, minus log of x in the base a. So let's work with the left and see if we end up with the right. My rules of indices say that 1 over x is the same as x to the power minus 1. And that is equal to, from this rule here, minus 1 times the log of x in the base a, which is exactly the same as minus the log of x in the base a, which is this rule that we were looking at, okay? And here, again, if I take this out of log format, I should be able to realize that if I see this, the answer is just x, because log of a to the power of x in the base a is equal to x. Well, that's true because a to the power of, so my base number to the power is equal to a to the x. So if I see this anywhere, I could replace it with just the x. And then these two rules I'd like to look at on a separate video um, because I probably am going to use them in relation to equations and I want to look at them in a bit more detail.